lay down. You just you lay it down, and you sit there the whole review. And you'll look very handsome. But no, because you got half of it. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Plus Cookie. We're going to review Stag Batch 22A. Is that A or B? A. You sure? One of the new stags. How sure are you? First time it's on the front of the label. They put them on there now. Hey, 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 bro. And Cookie's going to be here. Oh, it does say 22A. There you go. Okay. All right. Stag. Stage. Um, Not Junior anymore. Uh, I do have a sample of the Stag 22B, so I guess we can um, give that a little A and B real quick. A and Get B, it? some would say. <laughs> so this is Stag, they've now they've switched everything up, uh, yes. how they batch stuff, or how they name it. So now the labels actually have like a little thing on there that tells you which batch it is, so you don't have to know the, the proof, which is actually kind of great. Huge shout out to Daniel for getting helping us get a hold of these, because we've had zero access in about three, you know two what I years, don't like three though? years. And went from Stag Junior Batch 19 yeah. to Stag 22A. Yeah. Yep. And I think just the continuity error is did, just like. Eh. Did this come out at the beginning of 22? I think it was supposed I, to. You, yeah. I don't think this bottle's a year and a half old, buddy. I don't. That's the thing. There's gonna be a release date on it, and I don't think it was like January 22. So. Oh, that smells good. We've heard good things about 22A. That's like oh, a... Oh, dude, it smells like perfect stag junior. I know it's not, but it is. It smells like a really um, like spicy apple pie. Like a, I get That's cinnamon a apple. Note. It got that like almost flaky crust in it too. Like it's it's buttery. Shoot, dang. I want to proof on this, like 120? This has to be good because we didn't 132. pay retail. We did pay up on this, full transparency. We paid up. We paid under secondary, over retail. What's secondary these days? Ridiculous? Probably like 300. Ugh. Ridiculous. Dude, that smells amazing. Like for real, the apples, the apple pie notes the, is like spot on. It's weird because there's no chocolate. This smells way more like itch, Taylor Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Where you get like the old punchy fruitiness. Oh, dude. It's not that, as dark. That's super spicy in the palate too. I know it's 132 proof. But I really, really do get a lot of the baking spice in there. That tastes like fruit freaking punch, dude. Yeah. Holy moly. Going back on the nose, now I get that like grape note all of a sudden too. Oh, but dude. I had to drink it first to, to like oh, get there on the nose. Oh my gosh, dude. That's really, really good. Oh, I, I think we what we paid, I think, is a reasonable amount for that whiskey. That's phenomenal whiskey. That lingers forever. It turns into a weird powder, sugar powder. Pow Tell them to watch it. Now I ain't talking my pockets. Just no we ain't running out the way that we stop. Powdered sugar French toast in the end. Oh, Dude, the oak linger my gosh. is indefinite. <laughs> it, it literally sits like right in the very back of my tongue. And the oak profile just really builds and builds and sits there. What I think so weird is this is like... Um, riper red fruit yeah. than it is like molasses or dark like fig or plum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most of the stags, I feel like, the, like let's say 12, because we both like 12 a lot, or 13 amazing. or whatever, yeah. but those were good. 12 and 13 were like darker character flavors. More char, more like Chocolate plummy, heavy. chocolatey, or ha whatever, like darker fruits. This is like, literally like a really, like almost like a craft fruit punch. Not like all sugar, but like fruitiness. It, that then, is put together so dang well. There's no spikiness, anything like, it just rolls from the front to the back of the palate, and then the, the finish just rides out forever. That is fantastic, that is an A plus. Hands down. There's do you want to so grade it at what bit. we paid for it, or do you want to grade it at retail? 100 bucks, it's an A. What do we pay? 125, 150, 175, 185. <sighs> I think it's, I honestly think it's an A180. Uh, <clears throat> 185? Here's the crazy part. I put this right up there. In center stage. Yeah, dude, he's just, at least pick your head up so people can see you. That camera can see your <clears throat> yeah. little, little uh, neck little sock. Banner. Um, um, I mean, honestly, that, I mean, Stack Junior is always very good. This is super good. 
This is way better than the last five matches we've had or something like that. I still think like man, 150 is a good, good cutoff for me. Really quick, before we compare this to 22B, you guys should check out our website, bourbonjunk.com slash shop, because we actually have stuff on there right now. Cookie. There's some Glens. Right, There's this bottle share bags on the website right now. If you want to carry six bottles of whiskey or four bottles of whiskey and six Glen Cairns or six Agent or Neat glasses safely to a meetup in your car, in the back, in the wherever it's legal to carry alcohol in your car, honestly. Put the snap That on. is how you do it. This is something that we designed with exclusive Bam. over the past several months. Top There's a bottle in here. Too. That's why it feels oddly hey, heavy. It's an unopened one of our picks. So, needless to say, these are up on the website right now. The Bourbon Junkies, the BJ hats are up on the website right now. Not wearing mine. And I think there's some Glen Cairns up on the website. If you go to <coughs> bourbonjunk.com slash shop, everything ships from those three items. Everything ships like same day. To um, everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. I think if you order before like 3 p.m. Eastern. They get it out that day. It's crazy. They're like super fast. So. Yes, Go look at the bottle share bags and the hats, and uh, we love you guys. Those bottle share bags we've gotten great feedback on. Uh, the, these them. are version two. We had a previous one, um, like three out, no, not yet. There's okay. much water in there. Like three out of the 200 that we ran had some stitching issues. They went back, reinforced, um, and helped those people out get new ones. So these ones shouldn't have any of those issues. Yep. We love them. I'm glad I just have multiple now. Yes, same. 22B smells way just hit the like and just subscribe too because while oh, you're, you're here like 50 to 60 percent of you aren't subscribed and like even if 20 percent of you decided to subscribe it'd be really helpful all right this for real 22b smells like sag jr oh this smells like what when you think sag jr head 22b smells like that 22a didn't <clears throat> that is got a lot of that like uh black cherry yes and really spicy woody black cherry is a good note yeah i'm on today char this Whoa. Is, Those feel so different. Do they? Yeah. Uh, they smell very different. This is so much brighter, fruitier EH Taylor. I'm ass. trying to get every bit of water out of my glens to so make sure beans. I'm not hitting it. Stag guys. Holy moly. That's way darker. It's way oakier. Yeah. That's that, got that char ford, oak ford, wood. Like this is like oh. those are significantly different than one another. That's fun though. <laughs> the the finish on 22 B is uh exceptional. Yeah. That for me, like really it started in the back, went all the way to the, the tip of my tongue. That's Give it caramel. A nice tingle. That's what it is. Dark mm. caramel. Oh, yeah. Almost like a burnt. That's interesting how different those are. Those are both actually really good, though. I was concerned one of these would be significantly worse than the I other. I do get a lot more of the, like, really dark blueberry plum notes on, yeah. on uh, 22B. Like yes. the more stereotypical Stag Jr. notes. This, this aligns, if you like good previous stags, B aligns with those really well. I would love Two to really compare this to EH Taylor Barrel Proof. Well, we haven't seen one of those in nine years, so. That's fair, but this aligns more in my brain with like the instant thought oh, of yeah. that. This smells so crazy. Dude, it's brown butter, oak char, like chocolate. Mm. That's so good. That is also crazy oily. Um, Honestly, those are good drink. What are they? One is that one thirty? Yeah, man, one thirty two. Those aren't bad. Like those do not drink super zero super heartburn hot. with yeah. it. Like it, it, honestly, um, man, I get more drink. burn on like my tongue than anything with a hug. Which do you prefer? I think the twenty two A. Me too. I think it's a little like sweeter. It is a little bit more off profile. A will but be. It is, I would. I'd be willing to bet that A lands in top three whiskey of the With, year. I guarantee it. I, I, that, I'm that willing to bet some money. That's why phenomenal. I think at the 185 price tag, listen, I'm not saying I buy five at 185. Yeah. I'm saying to own one, what this this beats, I think, most bottles around $200. They're both A's, by the way, if, if you're looking for a grade. They both, are both A's. 22B is still, I, think, I, I'd give this an A minus. I oh, give, really? I give I think A, both A's. 22A and A. So. Um, I think B drinks a little bit older. Like it feels like there's a, an older agree. profile yeah. on the wood in there. And for Buffalo Trace, like they always age well. Yeah. But this feels like that's got a little bit more of that well-aged oak. I think if you, I think you could, could convince me that these have different char levels in the barrels. Almost, yeah. Like just slightly or something like that. Cause this is yeah. not char forward, like at all. And this is, most snags feel like they're like heavy chars or something. Yeah. This feels like that, like exactly what you'd expect. 
could have just been like a really young, sprightly barrel we put in there to, to so wake good. it up some. Maybe. I don't know. Like I don't whoever know, but it's phenomenal. is doing this is doing good. These are supposed to be around eight to ten ish. Yeah. Um. Or they they I the rumor is that they're eight to ten. They're not supposed to be anything, but our pick was nine. Whew, this is She's right in that. That's wheelhouse. this is the best stag I've had since probably twelve or thirteen. 22A is for me. I would agree, actually. Yeah, um, I think so. Everything else we've opened and then we're like fresh crack. We're like, dang, it's like not Stuffy, quite to the mark. Yet. Yeah. And we've always gone back and I'm like, they're not bad, but. I think we didn't like 13 right when we opened it and then it became one of the best ones. 15 was like that too. Was it? 15, we, because I think we reviewed that outside oh next to the hut. Because that was oh, like during, during COVID, COVID era? I'm pretty sure that was 15. Okay. Man. 15 or 16? I don't know, somewhere in there. I've got to do the math on that. Needless to say, those um, are good. This cool. is, this one, this one is worth paying up for. At a bar, how much did you pay for it really quick on the way out? Uh, a like pour. Just a pour? Yeah. 22A specifically. 15 bucks? One time I'd pay 25 to 30. Really? That yeah. much? If you find it for 15, that's a steal. This, I think this, honestly, in a blind, would beat George C. Stagg. Yeah, uh, I'd well, pay 25 once. Yeah, so it's yeah 17 ish for a pour. So yeah, I think 20, 20 for a pour would be. 30 is high. I'd pay 25 once. Man, you're buying that that bottom three pours. Plus, oh, bar pricing is low. Bar pricing is not MSRP. They get them at different. They get wholesale. They get wholesale. Yeah. So wholesale on this is probably like 40 something. I know, but it's. So the real price is supposed to be under 15. Right. It's also mm. a hyper allocated bottle of whiskey. It'd be like saying bar price on that's supposed to be 22. You know what I mean? Yeah, all right, man. Cool. You know? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that's fair. 22 my butthole, dude. Think about that. Uh, Good the job, old, The old wholesale price. pricing on that is legitimately supposed to be about free. Yeah. 